right now what I'm using is the, only this one it's only this bottle here as you already see we have the um, these are the electrostatic these are the electrostatic terminals we have the positive here and the negative here this coil goes inside it, like this one is on the bottle inside of the bottle and then this one this one the, the blue one actually is on the bottom inside the bottle these things the only reason that i used this design is to uh like to make the air inside this thing ionized to make it ionized so that we can even be able to effect to effect the ionized air with this uh kind of the resonating uh electromagnetic fields that we get from this coil i try to bring all of the types of things that i want to see how they act so this is what i got you see this is amazing I wanna, all of these things i've tried all of these things and they produce the same effect you see wait a little bit we gotta wait a little bit for the charges to build up and then see what happens this is what happened this is what happens. I don't know why. I don't know how I can explain this thing, but maybe in the in the upcoming video, I'm I'm actually gonna uh, start uh, explaining a lot about the thing. Uh, where I will even include the the circuit that I used. The circuit that I used. The only thing which is actually important in this circuit, to be honest with you, the the only thing that I uh, spend almost the whole time building is the circuit inside here, inside this thing. I don't know if you see it. Uh, the only thing which is actually important is the socket inside the thing. Uh, let me take this thing. Let me show you again what I'm seeing, man. I don't, I'm, I don't even wanna. Let me come closer. Let me come closer a little bit. I wanna show you what I get. This is the device that I'm talking about. This is the device that I'm talking about. I'm not even building anything up. This is the reality. This is actually how anti gravity works. We already have the electrostatic charges. Remember, we already have the electrostatic charges uh, already uh, going inside this bottle, and we also have the uh, the resonating electromagnetic field inside this uh, on on this side, uh, which is actually supplied on this side, and we also have uh, uh, the ultrasonic uh, the the buzzer inside this bottle also. The, it is inside, which actually produces the sound. But what is crazy is that. Almost every single time that I turn on the ultrasonic cell, this is what happens. This is what happens. Uh, today I brought a new video uh, which talks about my little device that I built a few days ago. Mm, as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference because uh, I made a I made an upgrade uh, uh, according to how you knew the first design. Uh, this second design is a little bit advanced. And I tried to make it a little bigger because uh, I wanted to get a bigger effect. And so I used um, I used a large design uh, which will be able to uh, even repel a lot of things. And, and instead of using uh, 15 kV I'm using 30 kV uh, of electrostatic charges mm, so I also uh, brought the I also brought the uh, the volume instead of uh, as you actually knew before in the latest videos I was using uh, the switch to turn on the um, the ultrasonic sound but right now what I do I turn on the uh, the ultrasonic sound uh, and the electrostatic charges and then I control the electromagnetic field resonating with uh, the electrostatic charges by uh, tuning the volume in the latest videos people have been asking me a lot about how this little device works the internal design of it um, and uh, possible ways that I use uh, to make it repel uh, almost anything that I put on the top. So uh, what I can tell you right now is that 
I didn't change the I didn't change the the design. The design is the same as the design that I had uh, on that little uh, that little device that I built before. Mm, so right now I'm using a little bit advanced design, uh, which is larger. Uh, but I didn't change the internal design though. Mm, I'm, I'm still using the same design that I used in the latest videos. I try to bring all of the types of things that I want to see how they act. So this is what I got. You see? But this thing here is a little bit advanced as I, uh, as I actually say that. Uh, it has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential. It can also rift a lot of things. It can also rift uh, bigger, bigger things. Mm, so instead of uh, rifting the uh, little objects, actually, instead of lifting, uh, lifting the real objects, here I made a. I made, in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact example what I'm talking about, because I made even a bigger stone revitate. I'm gonna try this uh, with uh, with a stone and see how it acts too. 